What is the Ethereum London Hard Fork? Development of the Ethereum London Hard Fork The challenge of ticking time bomb and transaction fee structure on the blockchain has indeed been updated by the Ethereum London Hard Fork update. So rather than bidding on gas prices longer, the Ethereum network now calculates transaction fees with a flat fee for every block. The difficulty time bomb is indeed a deliberate built-in event that was rescheduled by the Ethereum 2.0 design team to coincide with the planned launch date. The miners will be pushed to shift from proof-of-work, POW, to proof-of-stake as just a consequence of this, POS. Introduction of Ethereum's London Hard Fork Just after Berlin's Hard Fork around April 2021, Ethereum's London Hard Fork upgrades the Ethereum blockchain. The card transaction fee structure for Ethereum received major changes with the London upgrade. The upgrade additionally changed the consensus protocol to prepare again for the expected Ethereum 2.0 launch. London's substantial modifications to mining and management fees for cryptocurrency, meanwhile, are what certain folks discover controversial. We do not fully understand how well the changes will impact consumers and miners but they'll only last a little while well, anyway Ethereum 2.0 is currently on the road. New London Version Ethereum Improvement Proposals The London version of Ethereum is a hard fork that adds two additional Ethereum Improvement Proposals, EIP. The London change makes certain arrangements for a switch to proof-of-stake in anticipation of a launch of Ethereum 2.0, Serenity, which would be expected in 2022. To coincide with Serenity, miners have observed a reduction in the mining's growing complexity. All nodes were forced to follow the new standards along with the most current edition, since London is indeed a hard fork to keep mining and validating. The largest change, which included a new deflationary mechanism, addressed service fees. Users used it to make bids to pay their gas costs before. To incentivize miners for adding a transaction to the block, miners will prioritize transactions according to the fee they had contributed. The related charge for every block now is set. EIP-1559, together with EIP-3238, was a component of a London release that led to this change. Definition of EIP Technical Specifications, called Ethereum Improvement Proposals, EIP, define new features again for the Ethereum platform. Developers integrate ideas from the Ethereum community in new proposals. An EIP could be developed by anybody and presented for debate first before the group decides if to accept it. Before obtaining an EIP, a writer should follow a specified process that involves a review process and drafting. The proposal could be included in a version after the community accepts them. As a result of EIP-1559, the Ethereum network will modify how consumers pay gas expenses as a result of EIP-1559. The developer of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, worked with a group of many other programmers to create this EIP. The usual price that Ethereum consumers pay over time increased to the level where it became too pricey for small transactions. Transferring the $20 value of Ether, ETH, or the other digital asset, for example, would have been wasteful if indeed the networking fee were $20, USD. This service is less accessible to new subscribers due to the expensive fees. EIP-1559 offered a brand new approach for charging operations that sets a base cost for every block. By destroying the fee, the blockchain decreases the total money supply of Ether, ETH. This effect would place the cryptocurrency below downward pressure. Depending on the network load, the basic charge increases for every block. The base charge grows and vice versa when a block filled up to 50% of transactions. With the assistance of this process, most blocks will stay at an equilibrium point of partially. As just an extra incentive for miners to execute your transaction faster, you may add a tip. Ethereum attempts to keep blocks at around 50% fullness despite the lack of recommendations. The tip will certainly simply need to be modest to move to the top of the line due to the large amount of space for each block. Mining Ethereum and EIP-3238 Mining Ethereum is becoming more and more challenging to a hard time bomb that's also built into the system. Whenever the hard time bomb is activated, this will take far too long to mine a new block, which will reduce profitability for miners and slow down transactions. 
The objective of the authors is to push miners to migrate to Ethereum 2.0 when it is launched, compelling them to start trading Ethereum 1.0. The blockchain will, though, reach this phase too early. EIP-3238 has delayed the time bomb to make sure that network pays validators to Ethereum 2.0's proof-of-stake consensus method at the proper moment. In the lack of all this, there's a possibility that miners will remain to be using Ethereum 1.0, similar to the split between Ethereum and Ethereum Classical. A 30-second block time ice age may emerge in Q2 of 2022 if the time bomb is postponed. At this time, Ethereum 1.0 and Ethereum 2.0 should have been fully integrated. The conclusion of proof of work with the London Network Improvement, there have been different responses, especially when it comes to transaction prices. In Ethereum 2.0, miners are ready again for the conclusion of proof of work, but this upgrade significantly changed the fees miners are given. The earnings which miners earn could decrease as a result of this decline. The prospect of Ethereum mining becoming much more centralized is yet another problem. Others believe that the sole mines that really can turn a profit are indeed the ones that are the biggest and pay the least energy costs. The deflationary processes could cause the cost of ETH to grow, though we cannot say for sure. These assumptions might well be linked to the fact that Ethereum has begun destroying the ETH base fee of all blockchain transactions that have since been upgraded. When making Ethereum transactions, the previous mechanism operated like a bid, very much like Bitcoin. The chance of your transaction being immediately chosen and confirmed by miners grew as transaction fees, or gas costs, rose. You no longer must choose the gas cost you pay when making Ethereum transactions after the London update. The basic fee, as well as a tip choice, are the only things provided inside its stead. The base fee, though, is subject to change between both the time a transaction is made as well as the moment it is included in a block. You can select the fee cap as your highest amount due to avoid this happening. The system will refund the balance when a miner accepts the transaction inside a block with a base fee that is lower than your fee cap. Conclusion One of the major changes in the way users interact with Ethereum is that we've seen in London. The majority of the mechanisms that we don't normally see while using Ethereum have evolved as a result of many previous releases. Now, while it is still confirmed, there will be a marked decline in transaction prices and times. The London hard forks adoption still is limited and the moment since Ethereum 2.0's transition to POS is planned for 2022.